Hey guys, we are doing our religion Twitter bio project today, and uh, this video is going to be a walkthrough on um, how to get to the project, um, how to create the project, and then how to submit the project. And so um, you're seeing uh, we're at the hub right now, and this would be the course that you are in. So you want to go to resources click on religious Twitter bio project and you'll see the assignment it says read slide one of Google slide it'll explain what's needed for slide two and three You're watching a YouTube video already if you have any questions that I did not answer in the video send me a team's message um, or send your teacher and the project is due this Friday so what you want to do to start the project is answer assignment when you click on answer assignment, it's going to take you directly to the Google Slides. It's going to take you to exactly the assignment itself. This is where you're going to save everything. This is where you're going to upload everything. As long as you see this little check mark here, that's showing that it's been saved. Okay. The first thing you're probably going to need to do is zoom in. I like it be at 100%. So slide one tells you what you need. Okay, so on slide two, you need to choose one of the five top religions and research uh, its leader slash founder. Slide two, you're going to insert a background picture of the leader and a profile picture. Place them in the correct spots. So let's start with that. All right. So we're on slide two, religious founder, Twitter bio. And so for this project, you can pick uh, any of the leaders that are uh, in Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, or Buddhism. Um, for this one, um, I've chosen to do Christianity. And so I will be doing a Twitter bio for Jesus. And so we're going to, first thing we need is we need a header image, right? We need that background image. So we're going to click insert image and then a real quick and easy way is just to search the web from right here and I want to do Jesus and so you want a background image once you click on it just click this button right here that says insert and then it will insert your picture. Now it's your job to kind of shrink it and get it into place. If things don't line up perfectly, that's okay. Um, you're kind of making the project on your okay so we have a background image but remember you need a profile pic in every uh, um, Twitter bio there's a profile pic so we need a little picture that's right here in the circle search the web Jesus profile pic there you go, and you kind of want something that um, can look good as a square, um, kind of a small shrunken image. So this is going to be my profile pic. Now what you have to do is you have to come up with a Twitter handle. What is their name? All right, so I'm going to click here. Um, and then when you're typing anything, you may want to delete the lines there. That way it's not messing everything up. We're going to call him the real Jesus. All right. Um, and so you can, you can, you know, come up with a Twitter handle uh, for uh, your religious founder. About me, you want to have some facts about uh, your your founder or leader. And so we have um, Jesus. Um, dun, 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 dun. 
So, he's Jesus of Nazareth. I'm going to delete some of these spaces. You can even use, um, without even doing too much research, you could use the notes and the PowerPoints that uh, we went over last week. So we know that he's Jesus of Nazareth, Son of God, Messiah, um, and then, um, you know, you can put in, you can put in something else in the About Me, like, uh, check out my book, hashtag Bible, All right? Okay, so, um, we know his birth. You can look up uh, the actual birth date for Jesus. Put that in there. There's a little bit of controversy about it, but we're going to still do... And then 4 BC. And this is why you delete the uh, lines. Um, remember, he was born in Bethlehem. Followers followers you want to you want to put in how many followers of the religion there are so for christianity there are 2 billion followers and then following uh, jesus is only following one person really right and so this was a really uh quick quick one um but we need to look back for slide two, we chose the uh, religion, right? We chose uh, Christianity and uh, Jesus. We inserted a background picture and a profile picture. Oh, I guess we should have gone over this. Give the name of the leader and create a Twitter handle for them. Research the leader's background information and history and then create the About Me section. Date, born, location, how many followers, and how many people the leader would be following. Um, also, if you'll look, the About Me is in pink. When you go down here, About Me is in pink. So we have it color-coded as well. I know that that uh, helps out some people. Okay. Um, so we've done everything we need to for slide two for this one. And then slide three, what you're going to do is you're going to insert the profile picture of the leader in the corner of each tweet and create four tweets that the leader would tweet. It can be actual quotes from the leader, passages from their holy text, tweets about upcoming holidays, celebration, etc. Make sure the tweet is on brand. Um, here's what I will say, guys. Uh, you definitely want to stay as respectful um, as possible. Um, I know it's a it's a it's a real it's real. It can be hard to 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 not say something that may be a little inappropriate. I just want to be clear that uh, the projects are going to be reviewed by your teachers. Um, so just make sure that the tweets are on brand um, and that they are respectful. All right? So that little caveat out of the way. What we're talking about on slide three is you have a place where you need to come up with four tweets that the religious leader would say. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put in those pictures, the profile picture. One easy way to do that is to right click on it, copy, um, and then here we can paste it. That way you're not having to do it several times and just paste again, paste again, Also, if anything ever gets messed up and you feel like you've messed up so bad that uh, you just you 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 have the urge to start all over, I'd advise you not to. You can always click on this little button right here where you undo. Okay, and what you do with the undo is that it moves the item and it fixes anything that you had just done. Okay, so if you get that urge and you you feel like you've messed everything up. Um, instead of deleting and starting again, just click that undo button. Okay, pasted the last one. 
All right. So we have some uh, quotes here from Jesus. All right. Let's do this one. This is a uh, Bible verse. This is something that is attributed to Jesus. I don't need the read more at Brainy quotes. Uh, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. Good. That's a quote from Jesus. Um, you get the idea. I'll finish up this one. Um, you guys will need to do all four of them. Okay, so finish up the last two. And then every time that you edit something in this pa in this uh, Google slide, it will, if there's a check mark here, that means it's saved. Okay, and then once you're done with your project, you click on It's Learning, and then you click Submit. Okay. Now, um, your teacher will be able to see if you've done all the parts correctly or not. And then at that point, they can either reopen it for you to um, get it again. Um, but if I were to submit, I click Submit. And now on my end, I would be able to see the project. Okay, so you don't need to save anything onto your computer. Um, if... Um, if you just left it open, if you just left it open, you can come back to it the next day and the next day to continue working on it. Um, so only submit the project when you are completely done with it. Um, if you submit it early and you still need to work on it, just send your, send your teacher a message and they will be able to, um, they will be able to open it back up for you. All right. Um, so with this one, you guys should be good to go. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, any needs, just uh, um, send, uh, send us a message.